Good morning, everyone. It's Tuesday, 2nd June 2020. Year 2 Maths. Today we're going to be describing movement. Right, pause the video and make sure you have your workbook and a pencil. Please download worksheet from class charts or email. Write the short date at the top of the page 2.6.20. Write the LI to describe movements. Once you have finished your work, please send a photo of your work at year2 at grange.harrow.sch.uk. Right, before we start our lesson today, uh, what I'd like you to do is stand up and follow these instructions. Move two steps forward. Move one step left. Move one step backwards, then one step right. right. So the next one is going to be slightly complicated, so please listen carefully. Move one step left, two steps right, then one step backwards. I hope you enjoyed that. Let's look at the key vocabulary. Please repeat after me. Up, down. So we use the words up and down when we are moving an object or a shape. Right, left, forwards, backwards. Whether it's an animal or human, it will move forwards or backwards depending on which way the animal or human is facing. Right, let's look at the gr two grids here. We've got the uh, picture of the cow facing us and the picture of a cow facing the other way. Now think about the instructions you're giving uh, and uh, think about why the instructions used depend on the starting direction. So the instruction will depend on whether the starting direction is facing forwards or backwards. Now if we look at this grid here on the left, now the cow is facing us and we want it to move into this square here. So what we'll say is move one step backwards. Because it's facing us, it will be moving back. Now this cow on the right is facing the other way. And if we want it to move into this square, we're going to say move one step forwards. Right. Now we are looking at an object, or as we say, a shape. So which direction is the triangle moving? Have a think about it. That's right, it's moving up. So this time around, it's not an animal or human, it is an object, or more like a shape. So it's moving up. In which direction is the tri uh, triangle moving now? That's right. It's moving left. How about now? That's right, it's moving right. And now, it's moving down. Right, match the picture to the correct description. There's a picture for chicken and a triangle. And in the boxes over here it says, this will move up and down, this will move forwards and backwards. So. Um, have a discussion with uh, an adult who's helping you or your brother or sister who are helping you at the moment. And let's see if you got it right. So the chicken, this will move forwards and backwards. The triangle will move up and down. In your workbook, what I would like you to do is complete these sentences. So the star has moved two squares. The triangle has moved one square. The circle has moved one square. The square has moved three squares. Now the language you're going to be using is right, left, up and down. All right, let's have a look at it. So the star has moved two squares right. The triangle has moved one square down. The circle has moved one square up and the square has moved three squares to the left. Right, this time round we've got animals here so it's not object or shape so you need to uh, complete these sentences here. 
Please have a go at it, and I'll go through the answers in a minute. All right, let's have a look. The cow has moved one square backwards. If you put, because it, the picture, the way it's showing is not very clear, if you have put it to the left, that's fine as well. The sheep has moved two steps, two squares forwards. The pig has moved two squares to the left. And the duck has moved one square forwards. Pause the video and please make sure you have downloaded the worksheet from class charts or email. This is what the worksheet looks like. So you have got a grid here with pictures and aliens here. And you're using the language forward, backward, left and right. So what you're going to do is can you write down the instructions to get to these places. So it's the party, the bus stop, the beach, the airport and the fun fair. Remember, you can't go through the aliens. And I've got an extension activity here where you're going to follow the, uh, follow the steps and then write down where you are. Once you have finished your work, please send a photo of your work at year2 at grange.harrow.ch.uk. Thank you. Bye.